Hi, I'm going to do a video using Affinity Designer for PC and the Epson 570 printer. So we're going to start with File, New, and under Print you're going to see several of these different types. You've got Letter, Ledger, Legal. For now, I'm just going to pick Letter. Over here is your layout. You can also change it from here, putting in whatever you want. So if you change it by 12 by 12, then you have 12 by 12. Uh, you have your choice of orientation. Um, I'm going to keep it this way. Image placement would be preferred embedded. Your color format, now this is only for what you're creating, not what you're printing. So it's going to be RGB forward slash 8. Your color profile, again, just what you're creating, not printing, is going to be sRGB IEC 61966-21. I like to keep the background as transparent. You can uncheck this if you don't want transparent. It will give you a white background. I chose transparent. Uh, margins, you have your choice. Your bleed, I do nothing. And then I hit create. So here's my canvas, my blank canvas. And I'm going to go to file. And I'm going to go to place. That's where you get your photos. So let's see which one I'm going to pick. Oh, let's do this one. I like the sloth. Okay. So then I'm going to press my right mouse button and extend it to whatever size I want. Just going to do that. Bigger. Make it bigger there. Now, if I want to change things, if I want to change the size, um, I can go back and change through the document setup. See here it's 12 inches, but I could make it, let's see, whatever letter, there we go, letter. Okay, and that will make it letter size. So that's, if you want to change it, that's what you can do. You can also go File, Document Setup, and let's go to the dimensions. So I can also change it here if I don't want it portrait, and that changes it. And I'm going to put it anchored to page. And that changes. So you can do many things as far as changing your picture. So that's for that. All right. Now let's go to File. And we're going to go to Print. Okay. I'm going to change it. I have several printers. Make sure you have the F500. Um, document Scale. Automatic. When you go into Print and you go into Properties, that gets you into the Printer Properties. So we're going to have to do that. Um, so right now I have it as 8.5 by 11. If you want to change the size, you can go to User Defined, make it any size you want, but you have to change this too. So if you want to change it, I'm just showing you, you can do it 12 by 12. And make sure you have User Defined. Hit OK. And make sure this says User Defined, so they both have to say it. OK. All right, let me change it back to 8.5 by 11. I just wanted to show people because they always ask me. So we're going to do Letter landscape. Change this again back to letter. 
and that's under here. Okay. All right. I use the roll paper. I use it for everything because I want to make sure I use the Epson paper. Uh, that helps with the color. And it doesn't matter whether when you're pressing it with the Epson paper that you have all this ink on the paper. That doesn't matter. The issue is using the profile with the Epson paper. And I get the best color with Epson. I've tried them all. So I use the roll paper. Here are your profiles. You're either going to use textile or rigid. Now, I have done my own sampling and I find, found out even for tumblers or mugs, textile, you will get better color than using the rigid. So I keep everything at textile. Because you're using Affinity, you want to make sure you have no color adjustment, and that is off. Um, do not check high speed. You have the option of maximum quality or quality. Make sure that high speed is off. Qu high quality does put down more ink. I use it every time with finest detail. I also like to use print preview to make sure everything is aligned right. You don't have to use it. The other thing is under advanced, uh, I have my save paper roll so it cuts. It doesn't use the whole page. So I have auto rotate, save paper roll. I don't do anything with any of these. Nothing. Nothing for layout. So again, here's your printer settings. This is for your printer. Make sure high speed is off. We're going to hit OK. Now that was the properties. Now you're going to go down to layout. We have this. Rasterization, always at 300 dpi. Bleed and marks, I do nothing. And the most important thing here is color management. It's always going to be performed by the app. That's why we took off when we went into printer settings. We took off, we had it set to no color management. We want Affinity to do the color management. Um, you want to make sure you have, again, the Epson SC500 General Purpose Textile. If you don't have these, you don't have the drivers in there. So you might want to go and check that. Because if you don't have these two, um, two items, they'll be the textile and the general purpose. You may not have the correct drivers. For rendering intent, I always use relative color metric. That works for me. You don't have to do it. I, it seems to work great for me. Print to file, nothing. So we're back to all these. And we're still in print. So what you want to do now, uh, make sure everything is set and then hit OK to print. I've already printed this and it printed out beautiful. So I'm going to cancel this. And I will show a print of this and how it looked uh, and post that too as well. If you have any questions, you can just message me on Facebook. And I will put this up on YouTube. If you're looking for my YouTubes, it's under princess57 at gmail.com on YouTube. Bye.